No, thanks, Jeremiah. I'm hoping Chris Cooley finds the landing spot. What a player and a great guy. We hope that uh, he makes it back in, maybe on another team. All right, college football. BYU busts into the top 25, voted 25th in the AP's latest poll. Utah State is not quite ranked, but get this, for the first time in 46 years, the Aggies are receiving top 25 votes. They get Wisconsin in Camp Randall Stadium next Saturday. Of course, right now, we'll forgive the Aggies if they're still enjoying Friday night's epic win over Utah. What have the last two days been like? And I know you've been, you're going to say you've been looking at Wisconsin and stuff, but uh, you had to have been caught up in, in the wave. It's, it's been really exciting. Uh, I mean, having an overtime game against an in-state rival, it's, uh, it's, it's a really big thing. And uh, the fact that we won made it even better. Uh, there was a lot of excitement coming into the game. So uh, after we won, I mean, everybody rushed the field. That was the beginning of it. And, uh, I mean, there was definitely a lot of stuff to do uh, in Logan that night. But... Uh, <laughs> I mean, there was, uh, there was a lot. It was, it was, it was exciting. You know, just the outpouring of text messages and emails, and um, you know, really from both sides, uh, was uh, was a little different. You don't usually get that unless it's a, a Utah game. Uh, in this case, for me, so it was a special 48 hours, um, and you know, still kind of is, to be honest with you. But uh, it's time to move on, and obviously, prepare for Wisconsin. But uh, it was um, some special times. Seven straight wins. You now have the sixth longest winning streak in the nation. Have you got votes in the AP poll for the first time since? I don't know, 1966 or something. Great to, to see steps in the right direction. Those are all good things for us. Now, we got to be careful, and we've got to make sure that we keep our, uh, you know, our, our sword sharpened as we move forward and um, not get cocky in any way, shape, or form, because we have no reason to. You know, we haven't really done uh, anything yet but get better, and that's what we expect, and I think that's what these kids expect, too. If you're out there, Aggie fan or not, if you uh, appreciate good quarterback play, you can vote. Uh, for Chucky for the O'Brien Award. It's www.voteobrien.org. Uh, can you just speak to how hard you've worked and and uh, how confident you are leading a Division One program that now is on a roll? I mean, uh, it's a great feeling uh, just being recognized. Uh, being nominated for such a prestigious award, it's, it's great. But, uh, I mean, it really says something about the guys I have around me because I can't do it by myself. Uh, it really takes our line, our receivers, and our running backs. They, uh, we have some talented guys on this team, and uh, they've been doing a great job so far this year. So yeah. Aggie fans can vote, right? You understand that? They can vote here, www.votobrian.org. He might not get any votes from his tight ends because he forgot to mention them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and can't the tight ends. ends. <laughs> Definitely can't forget the tight ends. Wisconsin coming up, you know, this is a nice win, but it means nothing if you don't perform next week, at least play well. For you guys, what an opportunity, a night game in Camp Randall. I mean, you know, it's like on the schedule, that's a fun one. This is going to be a big challenge. First road game. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, how do you turn their yeah. attention away and, and exactly. get them back down on the ground? It, it, I'm really proud of the, the young crew and, and the leaders like Chucky who have, even though he's a sophomore, he's gone through it one time as far as the whole season goes. And um, I think our young kids have handled it well twice at home. Uh, it'll be very different to crawl on an airplane, fly across the country, um, play in front of what's going to be 100,000 people. And I understand there's like 40,000 students there. So uh, in the past, we've, we've handled those situations well. Uh, we've played fairly well in those settings and in those situations, but it's going to be a tough, strong, physical, ornery, upset. Uh, really good football team and uh, a lot of people there cheering them on so we know what we're getting ourselves into uh, we expect to go in and, and play well and we'll prepare how we prepared last week and the week before and you know we're playing another great team. All right, Chucky, how do you come back from the, the the flop fall reaction one of the great reactions that I've ever seen at the end of the game when you realized you'd won the game what were you uh, thinking on the way down of it? <laughs> I was thinking, uh, man, it's a relief. We because uh, we struggled last year in uh, in the close games, right. and to uh, pull out one just as big as it was this week, uh, I mean, it was it was a relief. It was kind of like the monkey off of our back. And uh, but going into this next week, we have to prepare the exact same way. We know it's going to be loud at, uh, in Wisconsin, but uh, I mean, it's it's one of those things. It's it's football, and we just have to deal with it, and we have to prepare prepare ourselves mentally and physically throughout the entire week. You expect to win. Oh, yeah, most definitely. What a, great, what a great kid. By the way, Coach Anderson told me he's kind of bummed that Wisconsin lost at Oregon State. They fell from 13th right on out of the top 25. Uh, so he's kind of bummed that he won't face the top 25 team at Madison, but he's still absolutely excited for the opportunity the Aggies have to go in to Camp Randall Stadium and maybe beat the Badgers. We'll have our eye on that next weekend. All right, back to the NFL. New York, of course, a tough time.